This is the Savage 17. That's my dog falling down the stairs because it's an idiot. Probably broke his legs. But anyways, we'll keep going. Um, the Savage 17 with the BSA Contender Scope. Um, this is a real deadly combo for out to 300, 400 yards. Um, it's a 16 power scope. You can shoot on 16 power if you know the clicks. Um, it does have the sun guard on it, extended. Um, I'll show you how those work, basically. Um, it's a two-part sun guard. You can uh, extend, use the extended version or the shorter version, or you don't even have to use a sun guard on there if you don't want it. It's more or less for uh, sniping purposes only. Um, if you got a good ghillie suit and you're out in the bush trying to really headhunt, that's what I would use. This is the overall. It's got the bull barrel, fully uh, free floated stock, the Winchester bipod on there that extends rather quick. Boom, you're up to par, up to snuff. Ready to go, you want to put it away. It uh, collapses just as quick. That's one thing I like about the Winchester one. And it's fairly cheap, it's only like 30, 40 bucks. You're going to be out of arm and a leg. Um, just a standard bolt, 17. Um, pulling the bolt out, as you can see. Um, it works very good, never had any jam ups on it. And I'm rocking the oops. I'm rocking the Leopold uh, scope mounts. And we got the zeroing tur turrets. Um, once you get zeroed out, you can pop them up and then re-zero them to zero at whatever you want to zero your scope in, whether it be 100, 200, 300, whatever. Um, so this uh, this overall is a great gun, especially for smaller game. Probably up the Coyote, you could probably do it, but I wouldn't take a shot at one probably any further out than about 200 yards. And with a headshot, most definitely, is the only way I would go. Um, it's a fairly cheap gun. It's a five round detachable box magazine. Up in there. Uh, one thing I do not like about this gun is if you decide to run a sling, this uh, clip release here will dig into your back. Tough. That's why you, I usually carry mine. I don't run the sling on it. I mean, if you're crawling, you can get down low and just crawl with it. Do whatever, walk with it, run with it. Um, it does have the safety on the side. Um, overall, it's just a great 17 for the price. Like I said, it's only like $299 plus the scope. So, I mean, really, you're only out like less than $400 or right around $400, the $400 range for a complete gun that's ready to go and do everything. Where you could buy a 223, yeah, but. The ammo might be a little bit cheaper in bulk. Yeah, obviously you have more range, but the gun itself is like six, eight hundred dollar gun. Then you gotta buy a good scope. You know what I mean? You'd have to buy a better scope than what's on this gun, obviously, to uh, be able to shoot out there six, eight hundred yards. Um, I'll, I'll bring you over here real quick. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but. Uh, there's a steel plate way, 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 way out back there. It's uh, that's the, that's the 400 yard target. So I mean, you can see, that's about a chest size target on a human, maybe a little shorter. And you can see really how much distance the 17 covers if you practice with it and you know your windages and your yardage. Good gun. Peace out, homie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two mils over. One of you hit it. <laughs> you just fired it. I can both did. Because if I did. 
is. Then I just shot that barrel out. Yeah. And that's 300 yards. Alright, we just shot a target out there at 300 yards and about 165, 170 yards with the Savage uh, 93R 17 cal HMR. Uh, we used, uh, we used some uh, regular uh, ballistic tip, just uh, regular polymer tip rounds. Uh, they fly a lot better, a lot truer compared to the, the uh, other rounds that they offer in their uh, 17 grain bullet, not the 20 grain. And uh, they're just a regular, a regular BB gun scope, and uh, with a sun guard that you can just make shift your own. This one's machined out of aluminum. Right over there at that shop, and uh, it's pretty good. How about the 300? And the 300 yard shot is uh, you gotta do all your uh, calculations as far as uh, ranging and the wind. We'll step around the corner here in a second. You can see uh, that I shot that in a pretty stiff wind. We'll check this flag out over here around the corner. As you can see, the flag's pretty much straight out. And a uh, 300 yard shot in that type of wind. Regularly, we shoot 400. <laughs> 